Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Ni rusu ni some na anaga passion kia. Be serious, be alert. Your adversary the devil is prowling around like a roaring lion looking for anyone he can devour. Resist him and be firm in the faith, knowing that the same sufferings are being experienced by your fellow believers throughout the world. Now the God of all grace, who called you to his eternal glory in Christ Jesus, will personally restore, establish, strengthen, and support you after you have suffered a little. The dominion belongs to him forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you. And we give all the glory to you because your dominion and your power and your glory remains forever. And we thank you because you are God in good times and even in bad times. We thank you, Lord, because you change it not. You are God even through the night and even during the day, Lord. You remain God, highly exalted and seated on that highest throne in the heavens. And we thank you because we are all under your power. We are all under your authority, O God. And we thank you because you continue to rule and you continue to reign, O God, even our mortal bodies. We therefore thank you for the opportunity to hear from you. And our prayer, O oh God, is that you may use your Holy Spirit, that he may speak to our minds and to our hearts, O oh God, that the light of the word of God will dawn in our hearts and will continue to encourage us and even to exalt us, O oh God, that we may know you, that we may see you, Jesus. And therefore, Lord, we lay all before you, we lay our crowns before you, O oh God, that you may be exalted. That's why, Lord, I choose to decrease that you may increase. That's why, Lord, O oh God, I choose to diminish that you may be exalted, O oh God. May your name be forever exalted. May you be exalted, Lord, even during this service. We thank you and we honor you. For all these we pray in Jesus' name. May someone say amen. amen. May someone say a better amen. amen. May someone shout a better amen. amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. One is was if you will. I thank God that uh, you are here with me and that uh, we are listening to the word of God together. I want to go directly to the word of God. And I want to say, Ya kwamba mungu amekua mwema kwetu. The Lord has been so good to us. If you count the blessings, as the singer says, count your blessings, name them one by one, and you'll see what the Lord has done in your life. Most of the times, we are overwhelmed by what we are going through, and our eyes are so uh, are, are close to the things that God continues to do in our lives. And that's why the psalmist in the book of Psalms 103 would say, Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and do not forget all his benefits. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. But this was his the reason as to why the psalmist would say that is because he knew ya kwamba macho yake yanaweza kuwa kipofu kwa mambo ambayo bwana anatenda and focus on other things that continue to trouble the heart that continue to bring agony and anguish to the heart. But I want to pray that this morning, that the Spirit of God would open our eyes that we may see Him as He is. Bon Jesus, if you will. My prayer is that prayer that Elisha made to the, to the servant, and he said, God, may you open the eyes of Gehazi, that he, that he may see the kind of army that is on our side. Bon Jesus, if you will. I would want to speak to a soul today that is troubled, 
I would want to speak to a soul today that is in agony. Nataka kuongelesha huyo mtu ambaye you are not at peace at all. You are not sure about what is happening in your life, neither spiritually, neither financially, neither even socially in your family. You aren't sure about what is about to happen or you cannot even explain your salvation at such a time. And I want to tell you, I want you to tell your soul just as the scripture says, the suffering is just for a while. When it was Praise the Lord. Peter Napoanika, the last time I preached, I preached on the same book, First Peter chapter 4. This time I'm speaking about First Peter chapter 5. And when Paul is writing to the saints, when he begins First Peter from chapter 1, he doesn't address a certain church. The Bible says that he is writing to all the saints that shall believe in the gospel of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. What is was the theory? And therefore, when he is writing this letter, wakati anapuandika uwa raka, anawandika even to you and me, the 21st century Christians. And what he is saying in verses 8, he says, super up, be alert, be serious in your faith. That's the first thing as he concludes. Remember, this is a doxology. This is the last word. This is the epilogue. These are the last words of Paul, of Peter, in this letter. And he says, be alert, be vigilant. When he says, be alert, dear friends, he is talking to saints in the 65 AD. He's talking to saints in the 80 AD who are going through sufferings under the hands of Emperor Nero. They is writing to a people who are suffering, people who are being hanged, people who are being sawn into two, people who are being burnt alive. He's talking to a people who are suffering for the sake of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And he is saying, even in the face of storms, be alert, sober up, be serious in your faith. But I was the He is saying, when you are going through trouble, when you are going through sufferings, when things are not right, that is the right time to be vigilant. That is the right time to seek the Lord with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the right time, dear ones. I am not sure whether when all these things began to happen, whether your spirits went, went down, whether your spirit was down was downcast, and you stopped seeking God as you are doing before. I don't know when all things happen, when all troubles are coming from all sides, when your business and your job was shaken, when your family was shaken. Did you stop seeking God? Did you stop loving God? Did you stop reading the word of God? Did you stop? Seeking God in prayer. How is your communion with God? Was it shaken or the foundations were shaken? Peter is telling the Christians, when you go through suffering, it is the right time to be vigilant. It is the right time to be alert. It is the right time to rise up. I remember when US, when there was a pandemic in 1942, the pandemic was was all about cholera and people were dying in big numbers. The church at that particular time, even when there were no movements, when there was closure all over, the people of God rose in prayer. The people of God rose in calling upon the name of the Lord like nothing had happened. They called on God. Church, it has gotten to a point where the Lord is saying, be vigilant. Be alert. It is not the time to sleep. It is the time to wake up. The Bible says a little sleep, a little slumber. The enemy will come to you like an armed robber. When we sleep, when we slumber, that's when the enemy will attack us. I am calling upon the church today. I am calling upon the church this morning that we rise up. We be vigilant and we be serious in our faith. 
Let us stand for Jesus Christ. Let prayer be heard from those homes. Let prayer be heard from those closed doors. Let prayer be heard from those bedrooms. Let prayer be heard in those offices. Let prayer be heard in the streets. Let prayer, let us soak the environment with the presence of God. Let God reign even when everyone else is complaining. Let God be exalted even when things seem not right. Let us exalt God by being vigilant. Praise the Lord. Peter is telling the church, rise up in prayer. Start firm in prayer. Number two, the Bible says in verses number nine, resist him and be firm in faith, knowing that the same sufferings are being experienced by your fellow believers through the world. Dear ones, the Bible says resist the devil. The Bible says stand firm in your faith. And resisting the devil, you cannot resist the devil with your strength. How is this Mamisha Shatani and Guru Yaugali? How is this Mamisha Shatani now Ekima Yamanadamu? The philosophies of human beings cannot resist the devil. Dear ones, the Bible is saying resist the devil, stand against the devil, rise up. Praise the Lord. And he says, how do you do that? The Bible says, by standing firm in your faith. Colossians says, rooted up, built up in Jesus Christ. Where are the true believers, the true Christians, who will rise up and be rooted, be stand firm and build up in your most holy faith, as Jude chapter 24 and 25 says, that you be built up in your most holy faith, that you shall be strong. The little fire that is left will not be extinguished. The fire of the Spirit shall not be extinguished even in our families. The fire of the Spirit of God will not be extinguished in your life. That you will not stop loving God. The Bible says, even when the enemy comes, stand firm, resist him. And do you know what the Bible says in the book of Isaiah chapter 59 and verse 17? The Bible says that when the devil comes to you like a flood, I will raise you up a standard. The Lord shall raise you when you stand firm. The Lord shall raise the child. I want to declare that there is nothing wrong with the church today. The devil shall not finish the child. The spirit of God shall not be extinguished with the child because the Lord shall lift you up. The Lord shall lift the church up a standard in the name of Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. Resist the devil by standing firm in your faith. The cry of the Spirit of God at a time like this it's that the church may stand firm. May the Lord have mercy. May the Lord have mercy and begin to rekindle the fire of God in the church. May the Lord have mercy and begin to rekindle the fire of God in our hearts. That we shall burn for God. That we shall prove the devil alive by standing firm even when things are not right. Praise the Lord. I want to finish by saying four things that the Lord shall do to us because this is what Now, how is the is a What is what's the way? The Bible says in verses 10, because that is where I want to close. He says, now, when you have, be 
believe in that, when you have stood firm, even when the, your adversary, the enemy, the devil, is prowling all over around and looking for you, that he may devour you. Even when the devil is prowling around to devour your family, even when the devil is looking for you, even after you have resisted him and stood firm in the faith, first time the Bible says, Now the God of all grace will call you to his eternal glory. Number one, he will personally, born in Sosifiwe. May someone say personally. May someone say personally. Born in Sosifiwe. The Bible says, God himself. And one thing that God will do is that He will restore you. What else was the theory? The Lord is going to restore the church. I am looking forward to a resurgence in faith in the church of God. I am looking forward to a great revival in the church of Christ. I am looking forward to a time when believers, when people shall be born again in this pulpit. I am looking forward to a time when people shall run to the mountain of God to seek for solutions. Why? Because God personally will restore his people. Because God personally will restore the families. Because God personally will restore businesses. Because God personally shall restore the economy. Because God personally shall restore Number three, the Bible says 
that he will personally strengthen you. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. We are living at a time when you feel you don't have any strength. We are living at a time when your legs and your feet and your hands are so feeble. When they are so strength, when they, they don't have any strength at all. The Lord is saying, even at time of Katunaskia, Maombi yako ya mefifia, you are at the point where you go before God. I am not sure whether you feel like this, but I feel it so often that I go before God in prayer. I try to cry to God, but I even words cannot come out of my mouth. I even try to think about the word of God, but even my mind cannot concentrate. The Bible is saying, even those feeble legs, even those feeble feet, the Lord is going to strengthen. Yeah. What I supposed to do? Yeah. Whether you are sitting today and you are wondering what are you saying, preacher? I want to tell you, as the Spirit of God is telling me this morning, to you and to me, that the Lord is going to strengthen you. Even so, you feel like your faith. You know the times when you try to imagine the things that are ahead of you. You try to imagine the challenges and the trouble that is ahead of you. You look at the storm and you look at what you have. You look at the army before you and you think about the resources that you have. You look at the business and the ideas that you have and you look at the pocket and the ideas you have and you cannot imagine how it will actually materialize. I want to tell you today that the Bible is telling us and the Spirit of God, Jesus, this is the realm of world, that the Lord is going to strengthen you. The Lord is going to strengthen your faith. Bwana Yesu wa sifiwe, mungu watakuthinishia imani, mungu watakuthinishia nguvu zake, katika jina la Yesu Christo. Number four, as I conclude, number four, the Bible says that he will surely support you. He will surely do what? He will surely support you and I. Let me tell you, there are times when you look at the people who can stand with you. You look and wonder who will stand with me. Family is not with me anymore. You try to make calls to the brethren and dear brothers and sisters who you know can support you and they are not there for you. You try to think of people who can come through for you and there is no one. You try to call them. Some of them will not pick your calls. You try to even visit them. They might not even open the gates. You try even to visit the offices and they might not even give you an appointment. You might not even be able to see them. You are seated today. You are wondering where shall my help come from. I want to tell you today, your help shall come from the Lord. Stop looking at people from today. Stop seeking appointment with people. Seek the Lord in the name of Jesus Christ. He will support you. He will stand with you. He will come through for you. Stop listening to people and listen to God. See, start seeking God and tell God, I am so feeble, God. I don't have any strength. I cannot stand for myself. God support me. Praise the Lord. Kutoka sasa mwambia mungu. Na ukiri na mdomo wako mwambia mwana. Mimi sina wezo mwana. Hata marafiki zangu wana wezo. Familia yangu wana wezo mwana. Lord may you support me from today. May you hold me from today. May you go with me from today. Imba kama mbaji ya liye sema. Wacha mwana wepo wako wende nami kutoka sasa. Wepo wako wana unishike mkono. Even through the storms. Let me tell you. Hata kama you are in the midst of trouble today. You don't need people to call you and encourage you. You don't need people to visit you. You just need the supporting hand of God. You just need Jesus today. Call on him and tell him, Lord, I come to you anew. I come to you because I have realized that you are 
all that I need. Praise the Lord. Someone lift your hand today. Tell the Lord, Lord, may you restore me. May you restore me. May you strengthen me. May you support me, God. In the name of Jesus. One is was a few. May that be your prayer. From today henceforth. May this be your prayer in Jesus' name. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Kama ulikuwa umeheshimwa na nguvu, go on your knees again. Tell the Lord, sorry God, that I began to trust on my own strength. Nilianza kutumainia nguvu zangu na hekima yangu na mali yangu. Nimekuja kwako tena kama mwana mpotevu na nataka kutoka sasa. May you strengthen me God. May you restore me Jesus. May you establish me my God. And may you support me from this day. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. May we rise up on our feet. I want us to go before God in prayer. And I want you to release it to God. I want you to give it to God in Jesus' name. Nataka we apeane yote kwa Bwana. Maisha yako, wokovu wako, familia yako, biashara yako, kazi zako. Na chochote ambacho kinakusumbua. Nataka ukipeana kwa ke Bwana. May you be found to be casting your cares and your burdens unto the Lord for he cares for you. He's so concerned about you. Now may I hear people pray. May I hear people call unto God. Fungwa mbamo wa kwanza kunenu na buwana. Mwambia buwana, Lord, I wait on you. Lord, I desire you, O God. I give it all to you. I surrender my troubles and my cares to you, O God. I give all to you, Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hata mali ya mbapo buwana ni metisimamisha. Na ama buwana unisamea kwa kutumailia mbubu zangu. Na unisaidia kutoka sasa. That I shall trust in you. The Lord you may restore me, O oh God. That you may restore my faith. That you may restore my prayer life, O oh God. That you may restore even the desire of reading your word. The desire of meditating upon your word, O oh God. The desire of loving you the more. The desire of seeking you the more. The desire. Ya kutimwaka mbele zako wana. Katika jina la Yesu. Na nipeaka wana. Na jitoa kwako sasa Na jitoa kwako na familia yangu Na kazi zangu zote wana Kanisa lako Na nipeana kwako wana Iti yetu wana My worries of God My fears Jesus In the name of Jesus Christ Someone call on God Mwambia wana Nitembele 